Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander Tactical at IWA 2024. Having a great time at the Next Torch stand. They really have a lot of gear that I'm just absolutely fascinated by. Uh, but from the tactical side, I will say, so there is some also some content out on Morlander EDC looking at some of their uh, EDC style flashlights. But on the tactical side, I had to stop to make sure that I could have a look at the weapon attached, but specifically for these, uh, the two pistol lights. They've got a few different options as far as the pistol lights, whether you want to have them with white light or whether you have, want to have them with IR. Um, but also the majority of them also come with, with, a, uh, with a green laser. So this is the white light version. Very easy to be able to turn on with your, with your pistol finger or on the opposite side as well, depending you know, whether you're a lefty or a righty. Uh, but also has on here as well, hopefully you, can, hopefully you can see that. So it's got the green laser on there to just be able to give you that extra little tactical advantage. But very, very nice lights. Incredibly well built. I think that's one of the things. I mean, they're, they're designed to be kind of banged around, especially uh, as these are as these are being holstered. Um, really good build quality on these, and you've also got the different options depending on what rifle, uh, sorry, what pistol you're using. Now, if you're using a larger frame pistol like this, there is a larger option for you. If you choose to have a smaller frame pistol, your sub, your compacts and subcompacts, then they also have an option for you. If you like your aesthetic and you don't want it coming too far out from the end. Uh, the, the battery in this one's just kind of gone low at the moment, but it works in a similar practice. So you have your switch on the side, rather than it being a, 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 a switch that you activate, actuate on this one, it's more of a simple button press uh, that will allow you to be able to turn the light on and off. Um, plus, it is also ambidextrous, so you can depend on whether you're a lefty or a righty shooter. You've got a lot of options for your different style and your different pistol as well. However, it doesn't end with just your sidearms. They also have additional options dependent on rifles. Some of these are specific mounts for existing lights, or you can buy it in a full all-in-one solution uh, where you have your tail switch and a remote switch for those as well. Um, plenty of different options as well, from Picatinny rails to M mount, whatever it is that you're running, then there'll be an option for a rifle mount or a rifle mounted light for you as well. Right now, I'm right just by a screen pumping out some really cool music because there's a lot of cool tactical stuff going on at the moment. So apologies if you can hear that in the background. But today, this is Tim the Dummy and he's got a few different uh, helmet mounted systems on here. Now, I'm going to call them helmet mounted for now, mainly because they are mounted to the helmet here. However, these are all kind of module, so modular. So this, like the example of the light that's on the side here, if it is that you want to attach this to something else, uh, the anchor point that you can see at the top, it will work with that, which is all hook and loop. So if you wanted to run it on the side here, there are also uh, PALS webbing molly attachments to this. So for example, the light that you have here, which is directly facing downwards, if you did want to take this off, at the moment it's connected to the uh, to the NVG um, one on there. However, this will come off. You can then attach it to the uh, to the to the PALS webbing to the Molly adapter, and then you could have this so that it sits here on a vest or a chest rig, or maybe a sternum strap. Whatever it is that you want to add it to, you can do. Um, I believe this one is just a white light. There might be a blue and a red light on that one as well. Uh, the one here on the side. Uh, this is uh, white, red, green, and also IR as well, which is really nice. At the moment, so this has one of the uh, the, the fast. Oh, oh, damn it! I forgot when you call these. But this is this is the kind of the regular on the side. Um, mine has the M lock on the side, so this won't attach to it. However because of the hook and loop you can still use the bit at the top to be able to attach that plus i did check because i was like i'm hemlock and I, my one has hemlock do you think i'll be able to uh, that'll be available in the future they said yes it'll definitely be available in the future a few other lights on here so we've got a 90 degree light here which you know these are kind of cool and then so we have this little kind of bad boy mounted here on the shoulder very cool because this is I don't know how it worked. Anyway, I think it actually, I think it's low in battery, but it has a tap function. 
Uh, this is on here with a magnet. It's a very strong magnet. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh, but there is an array of lights around here which will either do uh, white light, it'll do combinations of red and blue light as well. So if you are, uh, if you're in the police or if you're an EMT, you could have this somewhere. You could put this in your. Uh, you could put this so that it's on your shoulder, so that you could be seen, especially if you're by the side of a road dealing with somebody, and there are still cars. The road hasn't been able to be enclosed off, and there's still cars coming through. Or because of the magnet that is underneath this, if you do want to take this off. Now, like I said, I'm struggling with one hand, uh, but you can take this off, and then you can attach it to a vehicle. Anything that is, you know steel, iron, um, it will magnetize to there uh, to again help to alert others that there is a, uh, there's a, there's a, a red and blue light kind of situation that's in progress. So quite a lot of solutions from Next Torch on the tactical side depending on whether that's weapons mounted or like our dummy here if it is that you, are, uh, the, the, you need to be seen whilst out and about then there are solutions to make sure that you can be seen. So stay tuned, this is Moreland the Tactical from IWA with more content coming out as soon as I can get it edited uh, and uploaded. So yes, ciao for now and a huge thank you to the team here at Next Torch for making me feel welcome as well.